Okie dokie, math class. Today for math class, you're going to be doing pages 17 and 18. And they're talking a little bit about fractions. Now, fractions is something we have talked about in Number Corner already. And fractions are something we're going to talk a lot more about as we go into Unit 7, which will begin to start next week. Okay, so I want to remind you a few things about fractions. So if you take a look at a fraction, you're going to have a shape. Now, I'm going to draw a square. No, I'm not. I'm drawing a rectangle. It's beautiful. I like to think of it as a pan of brownies because I like brownies. So that's what I'm going to think of it as. If it's a circle, I, I think of pizza. You can think of whatever food you want or don't think of food. I just like food. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to draw a line down the middle, which is about here. Okay. And Miss Gilbert got really hungry for her brownies. Like really hungry. I like brownies. And so she ate. She ate that. Whoa, son. See what she ate? She was really, really hungry. I'm going to make a fraction out of this. So I want you to look. How many pieces did Miss Gilbert eat? She was hungry. She ate one piece, right? Now I want you to think about how many pieces are there all together. And when you watch this, the number I write might turn out backwards because the web camera is kind of like a mirror. So if it does that, I'm sorry, but you still know what number it is, right? How many pieces are there? One, two, yeah, you can count. Okay. So there we go. And again, I wrote it, but it's backwards to you guys. I'm sorry. Thank you, web camera. Um, but you know that's a two, right? So I ate one piece out of the two pieces I had. That's one half. And that's a hungry teacher. Just for some fun words for you, just, just you know, for the fun of, I can't help but tell you these things. It's the teacher part of me. This number right here, this top number, is called the numerator. And the bottom number is called the denominator. I remember that by thinking down number, denominator. It's just fun facts. You're going to need to know that as you get older. So I want you to start hearing it now. Okay. So one half. I'm going to draw one more picture. We're going to do one more example. Ah, I'm going to think of a pizza. Because it's 830 in the morning and I want pizza. You can always eat pizza. Whoa, that's a wonky shaped pizza. <laughs> okay, so Miss Gilbert made herself a wonky shaped pizza. Da, 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 da. I cut it into four slices. Okay. Um, yeah, that is Mrs. Donovan texting me. <laughs> Ignore the birdie. Okay. And you know Miss Gilbert is hungry for pizza. Right? So here's my wonky shaped pizza, and here are my four slices. I am so, so hungry. Da, 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 da. Beautiful. Da, da, da. Look how hungry I am. I ate all of that. Mmm, it was delicious. Okay, we're going to make our fraction out of it. And again, my numbers are going to turn around on you guys. I am so sorry, but you know what numbers I'm writing. Shh, Mrs. Donovan. Okay, so we're going to think about the first number, which is that top number, the numerator. And that's how many pieces did Miss Gilbert eat? Those are my colored in pieces. Well, Miss Gilbert, ate, hmm? how many did I eat? Yeah, I ate three. I know it's backwards. I'm sorry. Okay, now I'm going to write my denominator, my down number, and that's how many pieces are there all together. Ooh, there are four pieces. That means I can still eat one more piece. So I'm going to write my four. And now I have my numerator, my top number, my denominator, my down number, and I have my fraction. How many pieces Miss Gilbert ate? how many pieces there were in all. And if I'm going to say this fraction, it is three 
fourths. Okay? So I want you to think about that as you're doing your math work today. On page 17, your first set of problems are going to ask you how much is shaded. So look at that top number, the numerator. That's going to tell you how many pieces are colored in, that Miss Gilbert ate, in all. And then look at the denominator, the down number, and that's going to tell you how many pieces there are in all. So they did the first one. Oh my goodness. I'm looking at the worksheet. I might have given you the answer to the first problem. Oh, don't get that one wrong. <laughs> okay. So again, one piece was shaded. Miss Gilbert ate it out of two pieces in all. Go through and see if you can figure out the fractions. At the bottom, it's going to give you a, a shape, and it's cut it up, and it tells you how many pieces to shade. Look at the fraction and use that to figure out how many pieces to color in. You can color them in with your handy-dandy pencil with, well, I wouldn't use a Sharpie, but a marker, crayon. You can be colorful, okay? So read the fraction and color that part of the shape. If it says two-thirds, that means there are three pieces in all. I'm going to color two of those in. If it says three-fourths, that means there are four pieces in all. I'm going to color three of those in. On page 18, you're going to look at a shape, and they're going to cut it in half. And you have to figure out, if I cut that shape in half, what are the two shapes going to look like? Okay. And then the bottom part is just subtract, a bunch of subtraction problems. We will talk more about fractions. This is not the only time you're going to hear it. We also have some fun videos to show you on fractions from YouTube and some lessons on fractions. So it's not the only time we're going to practice it, but hopefully that gave you a little bit of information on fractions and some of it's coming back to you from number corner. Okay. So after this, you have the next screen, which is social studies, which is the same thing we've been doing. Go ahead and go to Pebble Go and um, watch one of the lessons in the then and now category. I think it is social studies and then it's like then and now. Uh, just like you've been doing, remember to always go through the Minam or the Shady Lane website. That way you don't need a password. If it says you need a password, it means you did not go through the website. Click on the Shady Lane website. I linked it right above or right in that slide. Click on that and then go ahead and go into um, Pebble Go from there. From the, Click on the library and Pebble Go. There's a video that shows you how to do that. And then it is Friday, so we have gym class. Please don't forget, send those amazing pictures to Mrs. Rush of you guys doing gym class. Make sure she gets those, please. Um, she's also sharing those for Facebook, so you might see your face there if you send it to her. Happy Friday, and we, as a second grade team, will all see you back here next week, which is very exciting. Okay, see you later. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye, guys.